Oh my gosh, now I kind of look like a video game character. Like a very low budget video game. Illusion! <laughs> yeah, my eyes are up here. Thank you. Anybody at the pool or the beach. TikTok? TikTok. TikTok. Am I the only one that anytime I say TikTok, I think about Hunger Games where the girl's like, TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. That still lives in my head like rent free. TikTok. Anyways, today we're gonna be trying some more viral products off TikTok. Now I don't use TikTok personally. I always say that, but I still somehow see all of these items. And just like you probably, I get intrigued by them. TikTok does a fabulous job at making you think that you need things that you absolutely do not need. And so maybe if you're seeing this video before you purchase any of these items, maybe I can deter you or give you a second push to get them. Either way, I think it'll be entertaining because we have some weird items today. Okay, at this point, this might be old news, but we've all seen that strappy dress video. This was hot quite a while ago, but I'm still intrigued by it. And as usual, I'm late to the party. We're getting to it late, but we're still here. Okay. See, like, what is, what? It's see-through. Wait a minute. Why does it not look see-through in the ads? Hold on. Oh no, it does definitely look see-through. So are you supposed to wear clothes under it? I guess so, otherwise you would go to jail. Growing up, my mom had this one swimsuit that you were supposed to be able to wear like 50 different ways, and I swear she just wore it one way because the other ways were just really confusing. So I feel like this could be one of those. The product picture truly just shows it all tangled and tied around. So I guess we'll try that first. I just know it's gonna look fabulous on me. <laughs> I know this is gonna be so flattering. Lovely, let's get started. It's really a weird fabric. Like I just cannot see this without thinking of like those gym pennies you used to wear when you were in like grade five. Okay, here's where we're at right now. Literally so long. Woo! I'm gonna first imitate the product photo, this, which actually already has helped a lot. Basically just start viciously wrapping around. I suppose it's kind of nice because you have control with how cinched you wanna make it. Okay, wait a minute. Why am I actually not hating it? You know when you see a mummy in like a museum and they're just wrapped with a bunch of cloth? I can't help but feel like this is the same thing. Okay, I feel like it definitely looks like the product photo. I feel like this is what that looked like. Um, if you were being a, like a cute mummy for Halloween, I'm just trying to understand if this got popular because it's really nice or if it got popular because it's really weird. Okay. Ooh, weird. Wait, I'm having kind of like a Britney moment. Is this kind of look like something Britney wore? Oh my gosh, now I kind of look like a video game character. Like a very low budget video game. I feel like the probability of a serve with this dress is extremely high depending on your confidence level because I actually feel like this just became another costume. Wait a minute, am I serving or am I just wrapped in a penny fabric? Okay, here's look. <laughs> Sorry. Here's look number three. This is serving, um, uh, I don't know. Again, I feel like another video game character. Okay, so I liked the dress more than I thought I was going to, but not for the reasons I feel like it got popular. It was honestly pretty fun. Two seconds later. It's just so much string. Okay, this product is the one I am absolutely the most excited about because I get seasick and car sick so easily, which is so frustrating because I swear when I was a kid, I was so good. I never got motion sickness ever. And now I can't do anything. When Stuart and I were in Italy for our honeymoon, I was standing on a floating dock and I was just like, I'm sick. Just from standing on a floating dock for like five minutes. It's honestly laughable at this point. Okay, this has 3.9 million views. So people obviously are struggling along with me. Uh, my fatal flaw is that I get car sick. So I saw these on TikTok, immediately added them to my cart. I have heard that you can like go on your phone and like read a book while you are in the car with these on. Nick, you're a scientist. Why do these work? So if they do work, it's probably allowing your eyes to see the forces that your body feels because motion sickness occurs when your body feels things, but your eyes can't, can't make sense of it. So like when I break or when I turn, the liquid is gonna shift around your eyes. Yes. So your eyes can like process what's going on. Okay. 
First impressions. A tense. Excited to try them on a longer car ride. <laughs> First of all, what was that voice? I think the biggest issue with these is like they're not the most flattering glasses I've ever seen in my life. They may even be the least flattering glasses I've ever seen in my life, if I'm being honest. Here's what they look like. I just got them on Amazon. They weren't too expensive. This is such a weird invention. Like was this on like Shark Tank or Dragon's Den or something? Because I feel like it should have been. Excuse me? Why are mine so weird? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I feel like I'm getting sick in them. See, I just think about all the situations I'm in where I just inconvenience every single person I'm with because I get sick and I just don't wanna be that person anymore. This is really interesting. Interesting. They're comfy enough because they're so stretchy. I think the best way to test these is by just hopping in the car with my mom because literally any time we drive anywhere, I get sick without question. One of those drivers that's like, <sighs> like breaking and stopping. All right, I'm off. Normally I would be on my way to get car sick, but got these. Look at my fit. On my way to fabric land. There's a reason you've been asked to be on set today. <laughs> and that is because you are notoriously really bad at driving. <laughs> so would you like me to put it in sport mode and take you for a real wild ride? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? Normally in about two minutes driving with mom, I'd be sick. So let's just go, shall we? Can I drive like, like it's fun? <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> I literally feel sick. You know when sometimes you have like something on your face or a Halloween costume and you're looking through peepholes? Yeah. That's how. <laughs> no, I don't look through peepholes on Halloween. You weirdo. <laughs> Mine weight mask, but like a Halloween mask with the little peepholes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> scientific and like there's heroes involved and stuff like that okay so let me review the glasses i feel okay i think i went kind of like a roller coaster it didn't cure my sickness i don't even know if it really helped is your head hurting yeah your noggins my head hurts really Aww. I if, like them though. If that was the end. Okay, next we have the Mrs. Kisses bra. Now, literally, this was on TikTok, like popular on TikTok, but it was so popular on Pinterest. I don't know why. Every single ad on my Pinterest was this. And I was like, I get it. You want me to wear a push up bra? I get it, Pinterest. Stop. I've shown y'all before, and I'll show you again Mrs. Kisses bra. No bra. Like, I'm so curious about this, and I am a perfect candidate because I have no boobs. So like, if it can do something for me, we are all in business. Here we've got the before, the after. We've all seen this person in public and been like, that's defying gravity, how? Maybe it's this bra. Mrs. Kiss is the world's first frontless, backless, and strapless bra. That's crazy, honestly. It's a one size fits all. Whenever you hear one size fits all, it's kind of a little bit triggering. It's like, is it though? I feel like if this works, it's at least gonna be really uncomfortable because there's like this giant wire piece or maybe it's plastic. Let's just see it. Okay, see? This wire is like metal. This is like the big contraption piece. So you're gonna like, what? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically I think you like stick these in here cause like there's the padding. I'm gonna have to take my turtleneck and my jean dress off to test this bra. So just give me a hot minute and you're about to see too much of me. I can guarantee it. Okay, I just changed into a deep, cut shirt. As you can see, I have no bra on. I am flat. Sit into here like that. Oh, those go on the outside? Oh, okay. So these sit onto the outside like this. My issue is like, what is this metal bar? Like this metal bar is like, 
pushing against my body in kind of a painful way. And this is gonna help from sliding, I think. I don't feel like I have literally anything for this machine. Let me turn around. This is so uncomfortable. Ugh. Let's just take an analysis of my first try. Also, the bar is down here. It hurts a lot. Something has happened to Mia. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do I look so good all of a sudden? Let me try again. Let me be a little bit more adamant about it. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out. It just has to be even more intrusive than I thought. Wait a second. Wait a minute. I mean, if you didn't know me, maybe you would think this was normal. I definitely couldn't hug anyone. If I hugged someone, I think they would think I was a robot. They would like feel the metal on me. Do I have something happening here? I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try one more time. It's only really uncomfortable, but I think I did it. <laughs> no sudden movements. Oh, this? Yeah, my eyes are up here. Thank you. I think I figured it out. It is uncomfortable though. Actually, no, I think I have it still on wrong. I like put it the other way. <sighs> Here's my thought. If you have a really deep cut dress and you want to look very perky in it, I think this could be good on like special occasions, but I gotta say, that you need to prepare to not be like the most comfortable. I do kind of feel like the longer you wear it, the more comfortable it gets. Like I'm kind of less noticing it. I do live in constant fear that it might pop off completely, but it's an interesting product. I just don't know if I care enough to put up with the discomfort. But yeah, here it is, the before and after. I feel like we all saw this dress because of this one moment. Trying the viral waist illusion dress and then just cinching the waist. This is the epitome of like using colors to your advantage. I've seen it before too with certain color blocking dresses where it'll be like a color on the inside and then black on the outside. And from a distance, it looks like the black is like the behind and the color looks like it's your body, if that makes sense. Let me just put a photo of what I'm talking about. But like you can definitely use illusions with colors and dresses. And this dress does that in a way I had never seen before, but this is the exact same it's just a different color i'm very excited to see this happen because in the tiktoks you like see it happen before your very eyes honestly by the end of this i should wear the bra and cinch this and we'll just be like fully decked out and stuff this has such a giant plunging neck hole like if i really just like yeah okay we're just gonna pin it back here that would be a minor alteration. First of all, let's talk about the dress before we do the little cinch moment. It is a bodycon, ignore the clip, bodycon dress. Honestly, it is hugging every inch of me and it goes straight to the floor. I actually kind of like this color combination more than the one that got famous on TikTok. I don't know, it's just a little bit more eye-catching. I like it because with a lot of bodycon dresses, it like shows every nook and cranny, whereas this one has like a loud enough pattern that it's kind of distracting. So I like that. But okay, the reason that we're here, this is what it looks like with the vertical stripes. Are you ready for the illusion moment? Ready? Cinch! Yes, actually, here. And then we, illusion! Yes! Weird. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed by the design of this. Like, this is smart to take the vertical stripes to horizontal at the waist. And I swear this isn't pulling on me at all. Like this is such a stretchy, comfortable fabric. Yeah, I think it's fun. I like it. Okay, next we're gonna be trying a swimsuit, which we are going into the winter time now, but no time like the present to try a swimsuit. This swimsuit had me completely shook to the core. Eight million views on this. And it's basically just a tutorial on how to put the dress on. So that should give you an idea. Look at it. It's just a bunch of pieces of string. So where the two colors meet. So I try to line it up and then I'm gonna step through here, just like that. And then once I have the bottom lined up, front and back, I'm gonna Pull the straps. It actually is like kind so. of confusing. And then just slip it on like a backpack. <laughs> and here you go. Okay, 
they were actually really likable and helpful. I like this video. And I think I will definitely need to watch this again when I'm putting it on. I like the analogy of putting it on like a backpack. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, so I had to get this. Now this was on back order for quite a long time. So I finally got it. It's from a brand called Tinny. And this is a watermelon color mix, which this is just the most obnoxious colors with the most obnoxious fit, which honestly is kind of iconic. It is lined, thank the Lord. The crotch is a little thin, but it's also a very scandalous swimsuit, so yeah. Back in the suit. <laughs> Did you miss it? Like this, and then you put it on like a backpack. Wait a minute. I think mine is different. Wait, is this the back? And if you're oh, I think I have to step in like this. this. Like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is like a backpack. And up like that. Ta -da! We have our swimsuit. Wow, this is interesting. Interesting. I would never, ever, ever meister up the courage to wear this, nor would I want to put anybody at the pool or the beach through this. This swimsuit is like dangerous. We have tried so many swimsuits on this channel and never have I tried anything quite like this. It truly is like the biggest wedgie of all time, wedging yourself as you put your swimsuit on. It's quite an interesting theory going on. Like I'm wedging myself right now. It's surprisingly kind of comfortable. Look how skinny these get. You would also get a really interesting tan with this on. TikTok, you never disappoint. Always so many different viral weird items floating around TikTok. The swimsuit is no exception. My favorite item is a difficult choice. I think I'm gonna pick the cinch dress. Comfortable is a big deal, and I feel like everything else wasn't that comfortable. If there are any other TikTok products you'd like to see me try, make sure to let me know down below or tag my TikTok. Literally, like the only thing I use it for is to see what you guys are tagging me in. So make sure to do that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am sorry that you had to see so much of me today. There was a lot. There was a lot. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.